Hello everyone, welcome to the first video on the Google Sheet tutorials. Today we'll learn about VLOOKUP or Vertical Lookup. What is Vertical Lookup? Let's try to understand the concept by using a small problem. So here you can see I have a column, uh, column A called as products and here are some products pen, pencil, rubber, scale. Here are the units that I purchased. So basically I purchased five pens two pencils, one rubber and one scale. Here you can see in a different table, I have the unit price for this, uh, for these products, right? So for pen, the unit price is $2, for pencil, the unit price is $1 and so on. Now our job is to calculate the total price of all the products that have been purchased. So basically this is going to be five into $2, two into $1, one into $1, one into $2 and we have to add them. Right, we can easily do that by using vertical lookup. So let's go ahead to our C column here. And here I can say equal to. So basically before writing any formula, you have to use an equal to sign. And I can say VLOOKUP, click on it. And then when you do VLOOKUP, it will automatically show you the documentation. So basically what are the parameters that you need to pass into the VLOOKUP function? As you can see here, Let's go through them one by one. So in the summary, you can see that vertical lookup searches down the first column of a range for a key and returns the value of a specified cell in the row found, right? So the parameters that it needs are search key, range, index, index and is sorted parameter, which is optional. So by the way, if any time this kind of documentation bothers you, you can easily press this minimize button which will pull it up or you can completely press this close button as well if you are completely confident of all the parameters that you need to pass. Here I am going to keep these parameters options documentation open. So here I can say in VLOOKUP I am first going to provide the search key. So basically what, what are we going to search? So basically I am going to search for this product here right. So we are going to search for this product. So basically I'm going to choose A2 here and then I'm going to, we will have to provide a range. So basically in which range is Google Sheet going to look for this particular search key. So the range is this total range. So all you have to do is just select it and it will automatically get selected. So F1 to G5, right? And then let's go look at the next parameter. We have to provide the index. What is the index? If you look here, it says the column index of the value to be returned where the first column in range is numbered one. So basically we have provide, provided this as our range, right? There is one products column and this is the, our unit price. We want to get this, the values from this column. So basically the second column. So here for index, we have to mention two. And then is sorted is optional. We don't have to provide it. And let's go ahead and press enter. So here you can see it automatically detected pen and it got $2 from uh, this range over here. So now if I drag it to the end, we will have all the rows. Now here's the thing. Let me show you another example. If here for some reason I put uh, some more rows here, basically we are looking for an error. So here you can see we fi finally got an error here. So basically we applied the formula and then we got an error and the error is did not find a value rubber in VLOOKUP evaluation. What happened here? So if I look at the formula here, it says VLOOKUP A7, of course this is right and the range is F6 to G10. So basically it, it is looking in this range. Why is it happening? Let's go through these rows one by one. So if I click here, you can see it is looking at F1 to G5. Then if I click here, it is looking at F2 to G6. So basically the range is going one row down every time. When I look here, it is going F3 to G7. And when we reach here, it is looking at F6, F6 to G10, which obviously has no value. So to fix this, what we have to do is we have to hard code this range. So here in the formula, in the instead of saying f1 to g5 we have to say dollar f dollar one 
डॉलर जी डॉलर फाइव एंड नाउ लेट्स प्रेस एंटर सो नाउ इफ आई डू दिस सो नाउ दिस इश्यू हैज बीन रिजॉल्व सो बेसिकली नाउ नो मैटर वेयर द वी लुक अप वी आर डूइंग इट इज ऑलवेज गोइंग टू लुक एट दिस हार्ड कोडेड रेंज so basically remember this every time you are using v lookup and you are getting values from one place to another you have to use hard coded values otherwise the range of the uh, second table is going to change but here is the thing this is not what we want right we want the total price 2 dollars is the unit price so how to do the total price is very simple here just do into units so basically this this is our unit so we have to click on b2 and then press enter and it is going to show you dollar 10 now if i drag it down it is going to do it for all the other items as well so now we have 10 dollars 2 dollar 1 dollar and basically this is the total price for each of the products i hope you like this tutorial about v lookup if you have any doubts make sure to put them down in the comments and don't forget to subscribe and like thank you everyone i will see you in the next tutorial